hey, this week we're taking a very affordable Jedi costume that we bought online and we're making it screen ready or cosplay cool. Let's go. <laughs> How's it going? Anthony Fro here, Crate Sci-Fi. So today we're going to do some Jedi. I don't know, lockdown's got me all Star wars up. So, you know, I'm working on my Mandalorian film. And then, you know, you start going down rabbit holes. So today what we're going to do is work on a, an inexpensive Jedi costume. I have, uh, I'll link to it below, I have a very inexpensive Jedi costume, right? I think this was like $50. And it's, you know, it's not bad. So what I want to do is I want to modify it, right? We're gonna we're gonna treat it and weather it and dye it, and I think I'll probably redo the belt. Which in your case you could just like weather it, but I think I'm gonna actually make one out of leather, right? So, right first let's do like an unboxing, unbagging of it, right? Let's let's do that first. All right, right. So like I said, what I liked about this is it was like 50 bucks, right? So here's the belt. Right? So this is what you expect. Huh, it's not bad. You could definitely use this. But we're going to use this as our template um, to make like a, a... Oh, that's metal. Uh, to make like a, a proper leather one. And then also I'll just go over... Um, you can um, sort of... I'll, I'll show you how you could possibly just weather this, right? So now here's the, the real thing, right? So that... It's all about feel right like tactile right like so that that feels like some kind of organic cloth which is awesome right so there's that we've never put one on so we'll have to figure out what everything is there's this i'm liking this that it feels like cloth okay we got this piece this looks like the shirt All right so this is all right, that's like the shirt, like the gi, like very, <laughs> almost like samurai. And okay, so, so far, so good. Like that feels like organic. So I'm guessing the synthetic is probably going to be like the pants and the cape. So let's take that out. Yeah, like I can feel the cape. Okay, so the pants, these feel synthetic. Yeah, so these are polyester. So, you know, it is what it is. So these, maybe at some point I'll replace, but for this is fine. And then, yeah, definitely like the cape is polyester. But like I said, that's fine, right? It's like 50 bucks. And then, you know, once you have the thing going, if you're so into it, it's like, okay, well, I'll spend the another 50 bucks to get like a cotton pair of pants. But this gets us going right so the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm just going to soak it overnight just to like loosen up the fibers then we'll wash it a bunch of times and then probably dye it and start to weather it and and see what we can do and get to work on the belt so just it's nighttime and i'm just going to go ahead got a bucket Ugh. so that's a bucket of warm water now this you got to be very careful so this is bleach just a tiny bit of bleach, tiny, tiny, like a capful, just to give it a little extra oomph. But you could really ruin the whole thing, right? <laughs> and I don't even know if that does anything, but I feel like yeah, yeah, I'm doing something by putting the bleach, right? So we got a stick, stir that up. Now I am gonna like, I'll wash these a bunch of times, you know? And all these things I'm doing, I do all the time with costumes and none of them are <laughs> proven past that. I don't know, it's just stuff that I do and I always do, right? And I'm just sharing it with you, right? So the pants and the cape are the are the sort of worst, right? Because they're like, like I said, they're like synthetic, right? So put those in the soup. This is just like a pre-bath. Because like I said, I'll probably what I'll do is what I typically do is, like with no soap, or just a little bit of soap, I'll usually like just run it through the washing machine like two or three times, and then like just like line dry it, right? There's the cape. 
Here's the synthetic pants. And again, I can imagine just getting some like brown cotton pants would be fine. But for now, 50 bucks. <laughs> and like, and that cape is pretty straightforward. But the stuff that's tricky, right? And sort of like makes it the Jedi is this stuff. And this stuff is all like, it feels like cotton. Let's see. Huh. This is polyester too. But, you know, it's a tactile thing. It feels feels good right so that's that <laughs> making my my Jedi stew <laughs> Just put the rest of the pieces in there and all I want to do is loosen up all these fibers just want to loosen them up we want this thing to not look you know, like when somebody takes a, a dress shirt out of the package and they, they go to <laughs> a job interview party and they got the creases, right? We don't want that. What we want to do is make this thing look lived in, right? All right. Stir that up. All right, cool. So, going to let that sit overnight. Tomorrow we'll throw in a wash and, and we'll rejoin and we'll see what we can start to do to make this look real and to start working on this belt. All right, so we, we got our fiber loosening stew, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to loosen this up, right? You don't want it to look like it's right out of the package. So now I'm just throwing it in the wash. And what I'm gonna do is probably through the course of this, wash this two or three times, right? Sorry, that's out of focus. I'm not usually filming my washing machine. <laughs> So there it is in the burning sky, right? And over here in SoCal, we got the orange skies from the fires and it's air drying. See how there's a little wrinkled? Like to me, that looks better than fold marks out of the package, right? So first thing I'm gonna deal with here is, is uh, the only thing that was a little funky to me is these pants. These pants are fine, right? If you're buying this costume to go out once, it's, it's gonna be fine, but I kind of wanted to, I have these cotton pants that I get. It's it's not the dollar store, but you know those clothing stores that are like off-brand, like sort of rejects. I got this for like six bucks and I bought a bunch of pair of these uh, last year. Um, and basically what they are is they're like those kind of like jogging pants slash pants and they grip on the bottom right so that's even good for boots but these are like 90 97% cotton 3% spandex so they're perfect for this so I'm just gonna dye these brown so that it'll match my costume and what I'm thinking with this costume because it's $50 it's affordable wherever I can upgrade I will but you don't have to and I'm not gonna if I don't need to, right? So I'm just gonna dye these pants brown. Again, this is just me, right? So you can get a brown pair of pants, like cargo pants or something, or just use the ones that come with the costume, they're fine. I would just recommend, again, washing them like two or three times. So this, you know, I did this, I figured I'd share it with you. You know what? I'm uh, gonna make a game time decision here. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna work on this as it is from, you know, the, wherever I got, Amazon is where I got it, right? So I'll link to it. So I'm just gonna make this just working on this. So I'll weather the belt, I won't make a new belt, and I'll just work with the pieces um, that came with it. That way it'll be doable for you and I won't add any 3D printing or leather work. For this, let's just do it so that if you, you wanna play along with this, you can just do exactly uh, what I'm doing, get the same thing that I'm doing, and I won't add anything. All right, so now I have this belt, and like I said, I'm gonna show you how I would weather this belt. I think I'm gonna do another video where I make a belt, but let's just keep it to this kit, right, like we said. So what I'm doing here is I just have a really high grit sandpaper, and I'm just really scuffing this up. Now I know some people are just gonna want it the way it is and you know that's fine but to me again that just looks like you bought a halloween costume right but if you want to do that that's fine i would just say broken record wash the thing three or four times and line dry it before you wear it but i'm showing you so here i have like my water-based acrylic paint you can use just regular acrylic paint so i'm just basically putting some black on here and what i'm doing when i weather like this kind of thing is it's like an ongoing thing right so i put the black i was like hmm i have the graphite powder i'm gonna add a little graphite powder right maybe you're gonna scrub some potting soil in there 
maybe not it's it's all good you know so now i'm adding this and what i like to do when i weather like this is sort of i'm basically making a mess and then trying to correct that mess as i make it right so now i'm like okay let's do some burnt sienna right so rubbing that in to sort of offset all the black and and graphite we just did now the graphite is not something i typically do but these are the things where i'm like let me try that right so maybe i would have done the graphite on this and been like oh this is a good thing i think it worked fine but it's not something i would do on my leather props but it could have been a eureka moment right that's how this works so now i'm just scrunching this up and i do this a lot when i'm trying to weather costume pieces a lot of scrunching a lot of balling up right it seems like pretty straightforward but you know i think people get a little too precious with this stuff so they don't go as far as you could and you know here i'm sticking this in the camera look at it but i never you know once it's on you it doesn't look that bad right so now this cape is probably the most egregious right so it's huge piece of fabric and it just looks like uh inexpensive light white fabric right it looks great on but it it's just too lightweight and the shininess really sort of cues the the person looking at it as it's not maybe uh, a, a quality fabric so what i'm doing is i'm taking a 220 grit sandpaper and that catches on the thread right so i'm very systematically going over the whole entire cape and i'm just scraping scraping and what this is doing is it's taking it from that sort of fake uh nylon polyester look and it's making it look almost like a like a fleece right so it's like fleeced so now right i have a heavier grit sandpaper i think this is like a 60 and you know the sleeves and the bottom of the cloak these are things that would get dragged around and, and sort of messed up and i'm just pulling on it right and these threads you don't want to pull it to sort of weaken uh, the structure but you want to make it look alive right instead of this piece of like like you have a shiny tarp or or, or rain poncho from the dollar store on right and as you can see like just even the way the light is hitting that as i'm prepping it right so here i'm going to do a side by side for you see there it is without it very subtle but you know very shiny very like oh that's a costume and then right look at that all of a sudden that looks kind of real and then you know in the nuclear sky mars sky <laughs> those pants are drying and you can see those are sort of the right color so um this happens a lot when you dive especially in expensive clothes so the string is probably like made out of nylon or polyester so what i'm going to do here because these are not pants i'm wearing every day that it's a costume piece i'm just taking acrylic paint and i'm just working it into these seams right and it's again sometimes it's just the simple straightforward thing that's the best option right so i'm just working the paint into these seams and then i'm going to take a cloth and rub it out and then you know it's totally fine it blends and you know again like these are costumes cosplay film in the case of my film i only need this to work for one day right so yeah if this was clothing you'd wear every day for a couple of years you don't want to put acrylic paint on it but it's it's fine for this you know and it's actually it'll it'll probably last fine so now i'm just weathering these pants now this i use the acrylic water-based paint right and now i'm gonna use some red because you figure right jedi warrior right lightsaber fights it's like you know you're gonna get a little blood on your hands right so i'm doing that and now i'm adding flex of gold i've gone over this in other videos i just find that just adding some not natural color you know the the browns and the blacks are sort of organic and then the gold is not just flex of it now this might look a bit much to to some people now keep in mind what you're not seeing now is right now you're seeing the process right so this is a water-based acrylic paint right so I'm putting all this weathering on here, but we're still going to wash it, right? So uh, a good portion of this is, is going to, to come off, but it's going to leave some kind of residual life, right? So especially with this, I'm just taking, this is like a, a dishwashing scrubbing brush, and I'm just putting all this black, which would be like grease and dirt, right? And just like that, I get it. That's a little like, uh that looks a little weird but the majority of this is going to wash off but it's going to leave a, a little bit of a residue of something 
that came to life, right? So I want you to be looking at me doing this, realizing like, oh, it's gonna be washed off and it won't be as bold, but there'll be something there. And you're always storytelling when you're weathering, right? So the idea is this Jedi was out in the world doing some battles for a couple weeks. He gets back to the temple. They're like, oh, welcome home. You know, go to the laundry, wash your clothes and meet us, you know, for a debriefing, right? So a little bit of blood, right? I think, you know, his or her enemy got a little blood. And as I'm doing this, I'm just tossing it on the floor, the filthy floor of my shop, right? And it's the same thing. It's like that Jedi was rolling around on the filthy floor of, you know, of some enemy hideout. So as I do this, throw it on the floor. And then once I have them all on the floor, I'm just gonna rub it around on there good. Like before I had a shop, I used to take it out into like, a, like parking lots and woods and drag it around in the woods. So now that's just, see how that's just really dirty, dusted, all that paint's in there. Now we're just gonna throw it in the washing machine. Now, since this is the second time ever I've filmed my washing machine, this time it's in focus. <laughs> so yeah, now I'm gonna wash these. And I think on camera, I wash this stuff twice, but probably off camera, I've watched, watched this stuff like three or four times. And like I said, if, if you're not, into doing all the weathering like I do. And you see there, it's very subtle. Just make sure you watch this stuff three or four times to give it a little bit of life, right? And then there's the lightsaber. I'll link to that. That was another build I did. And then you see how like, you can just see just little bits of that dirt and grime. It's not like when I was painting it. And we're looking, staring at it now, right? I think, especially on film, that's gonna bring it to life, right? Yeah, I mean, this was 50, $55. 60 for me because I added the $5 pants. That's so cool. And it's my size. <laughs> nice. Man, this is fantastic, right? And right now I just have it without the, the cape, um, the cloak, because I just think it shows it off better, but the cloak is cool. Oh man, very happy with this, right? I mean, you can see it like after all the washings, like how it's just like frayed and that makes it look better, right? It makes it look more realistic. And um, the cotton pants, you can barely see them with this and then when we add the boots, so it's just more comfortable, right? Um, and then also like all that weathering that I did that was maybe like, oh, what are you doing all that? Like most of that washed off, but there's just like these little flecks and pieces, right? So very happy with this. I'm probably going to use it for my um, for my fan film that I'm working on. But, you know, now if I'm going to a con or something and I want to dress up, this is something I'd, I'd rather wear. And, you know, the way I look, I, I feel like I could get away with this, right? So this might be my size. Um, so, yeah, so I think in another video, I'm going to do a belt out of leather. And then uh, I have some pretty cool boots. Um, that I'm, I'm talking to a cool maker with right now that I'd love to introduce to you. So hopefully that's gonna work out. Um, but yeah, so for this, I just wanted to um, keep it just from that online purchase costume. So you could do this if you wanted to. Now the Sabre, this is from uh, the dollar store, right? And I'll link to the video where I made this, right? So very affordable and very cool. Well. <laughs> As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to read the comments. And be sure to check out the merch shop. We got the hats. This week, I'm wearing the Dust shirt. Dust is like the best short film, sci-fi short films online. And uh, my short Erringer is on there. So you should really check them out. But, you know, buying merch really helps uh, smaller channels. Well, as always, remember... I'm just here to help dress sci-fi. <laughs>